This is an interesting Valentine's Day. <laughs> Guys, it's 25 degrees outside. I am currently wearing three pairs of pants, two sweaters, a long sleeve shirt, a coat, a beanie, and a scarf. Oh wait, it's not a scarf. It's pajama pants. I don't own a scarf. We're going for a walk. Em and I are trying to be adventurous. We're trying to branch out. It's Valentine's Day. We're trying to have some, you know, couple bonding time. So we're gonna go for a long ass walk. Is this a good idea in the 25 degree weather? Probably not. Are the roads very icy? Yes, but you know what? We got scarves, we got hats, we got coats. We don't have gloves, our hands will freeze. But you know what? We got pockets. It's okay, we're gonna be totally fine. Happy V-Day, everybody. We're outside. Hi. It's 20 degrees and we're walking 30 minutes because that's what you do. Going to get some coffee. You know how it is. 20 degrees, no problem. I literally look insane. I don't think I've ever looked crazier in my entire life, but <laughs> I don't care. We're at a coffee shop. We're sitting outside. This is the first time we've eaten outside of our house since the pandemic in one year. There's a winter storm, so nobody's outside. Literally not a single person. So it's our time to thrive. We're back from our walk. It's actually pretty late in the day, Evan. It's like 4 p.m. This is our lunch. We ordered some food because yes. we have no groceries. So let me tell you guys something. We came back here after four months, okay? Obviously there's no food in our fridge. Well, there was, there was a rotten pack of cheese. <laughs> I thought I put in an Amazon order this morning, like at nine in the morning. I was like, oh, okay, sick. One to 3 p.m. it'll come in. And I looked today and there's no order. It's still in my cart. So like either I forgot to click it or it like glitched or something, but I swore I clicked place order. So problem is- Norman, no. Problem is there's a snowstorm tomorrow, like a really bad snowstorm. So there may or may not be people delivering food tomorrow. I don't know. Know, and it's gonna start snowing tonight. So this was kind of our last chance to get groceries. We're not gonna go to the store because there's ice covering all the roads. So I guess worst case scenario, we drink the curry <coughs> coconut milk in our pantry. And I think we have some meat in the freezer. And that's about it. So guys, this is an interesting Valentine's Day. We got home and our house is messier than we thought it was. So we have a lot of cleaning to do. We have to sweep the floors, we gotta mop, we gotta wash a bunch of laundry, we have to clean the bathroom. The day is definitely pushed a little bit later than planned. Edmund's cleaning the kitchen, I'm about to clean the bathroom. It's like a whole deal, but I'm really happy that we were able to go for a walk because it was definitely a fun time. We don't really get out of the house much, you guys know that. And it's really good to be back. We really like taking in our neighborhood and like realizing how much we really liked it. So that was fun. But have you guys seen our room? I haven't talked about our room in a really long time this is what it looks like it's messy right now but i'm obsessed with our room like emma and i came home and i'll show you guys the full house in a full house in a video coming soon because i really want you guys to see it but our house is so cute and like we spent so much time trying to decorate it and it's still not fully done but it's like just a really good vibe in here it's so homey it's just oh i love being here like i really did miss being here it's gonna be a fun night it's gonna be a fun half of the day but right now we're just cleaning so there's that <laughs> There really is nothing else that people picture about Valentine's Day more than cleaning a toilet, am I right? I am not complaining though. I actually really like cleaning toilets. I know it's kind of gross, but I specifically like like scrubbing stuff and like cleaning stuff that you can obviously see it become clean as you clean it. You know what I'm saying? I also just wanted to say that I'm here. Oh, I'm talking straight into the mic. This is probably really loud. I wanted to say I'm here and I'm not leaving my wife alone. I'm just on the other side of the camera. What if our Valentine's Day was you chilling on the couch and then me cleaning the whole house? I love scrubbing toilets. It's gross, but it's also really satisfying. Do you guys agree? Are you looking to play? Roman, you want to play with me? Is that what's happening right now? What are you doing, babe? Home improvement projects. Man, you've got that workout body. Not at that. Anyway, check it out guys. We got a hook in our ceiling. Don't tell our landlord, but we're putting up ah, one of my plants. You guys asked me so many times while we were in California. Oh, how are the plants? Who's taking care of the plants while you're away? Oh, Danny, what about your plants? You know what? My plants are alive and well. We also got new curtains. These aren't even for this room. They're actually for my office room, which is the other room, but there's no curtains in this room. So while we're waiting to set up that room, because it's not nearly set up, we just put them in here because it's fun. But hey, this is a fun Valentine's Day, don't you think? We went for a walk, we laid in the bed for a while, ordered some burgers, which are coming in in a minute. Now we're gonna clean up and then have some dinner. <sighs> it's a good day, guys. It's a good day. Wow, that looks so good. Right? Check it out, guys. Adorable. Hi, guys. 
I am now going to quote get ready because I really wanted to have like a cute Valentine's Day, right? I wanted to have a dinner. I wanted to have a hangout, right? Problem is we're in a pandemic. We're literally in the middle of a winter snowstorm. I don't know if I even told you guys this, but there's about to be like inches of snow coming down. There's ice all over the road. It's super, super dangerous outside. Like if we wanted to go pick up some food and hang out in our car like we usually do, we couldn't do that either. So what I thought is, and what Emin thought is we'll order some food. We'll try to clean the house as best as we can because you guys know as I told you earlier, our house is kind of a mess. And put on a cute outfit and just pretend like we're going on a date. Pretend like we're at a restaurant or something. Maybe dim the lights a little, light a candle. Make it nice and romantic because that's what Valentine's Day is about, right? Anyway, I wanted to put makeup on, but then I was like, okay, I don't really need to because I'm in my house with my literal husband. So I'm gonna try putting this stuff on my face. It's by Coco Kind. Love Coco Kind, but it's like a stick, a highlighter stick almost, but this one looks a little bit too gold. I have a couple colors. Hold on. Is that too much? I can't even tell. Oh, that's nice. It's very subtle, right? What else can I do? I'm dressed now. I wish I had like a full length mirror I could show you, but I got this thing. This is from a place called Eye to Eye and they sent it to me. So shout out to Eye to Eye. Eye to Eye to Eye to Eye. Shout out to Eye to Eye for sending this to me, but it's not something I've ever worn before. I feel kind of weird about it, but I'm excited. And now I feel like I'm about to go to a restaurant. The mirror's foggy because I took a shower, but. Okay! It's like a pantsuit. Guys, it's really cute. I'm sitting on my floor <laughs> because Evan and I are getting dressed and we're waiting to like come out to look at each other. He's just gonna put on a polo, but I'm just like thinking, reflecting as they say, on like the past couple years. It's so weird. Evan and I have had three Valentine's Days together. Our first Valentine's Day, we almost broke up. Legitimately, we're going to break up and we'd only been dating for a few months then. And then last Valentine's Day was fun. It was like right before Corona, but this year we're clearly locked in our house. So it's just weird, like the evolution of time and how we've been together for so long. And it like, doesn't even feel real at this point, honestly. Like, I was telling him in the car, it's almost like we're the same person because when we're together, it's like you're in front of nobody. So like you can say anything you want, you can do anything you want, you don't have to be embarrassed. Like you can just be yourself fully, just like when nobody's watching because it feels like nobody's watching, but really there is somebody. But like, do you guys know what I'm trying to say? I don't know, more of the story is I really love my husband and I've been really stressed today about our house and everything and he's been so helpful. He's even setting everything up right now, so I'm really excited. Are you ready? So. All right. What is it? Our house is really messy. Wow. Do you like my outfit? Yeah, I could, yeah. You could what? I was gonna make a joke, but then I realized after I stopped making, I was gonna make an inappropriate joke. What was the inappropriate joke? It was gonna be something stupid. And then once I stopped making the inappropriate joke and I just said I could, I realized I got myself into way too deep. What were you gonna say? No, it, we're just gonna end the joke, okay? You look really good. I like that a lot. Do you wanna show them my look? Do you like my look? Da, 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 you look really good, super good. Happy birthday. I love you. <laughs> I thought you were making a joke. <laughs> I thought you were doing that to be funny. No. I wanted to tell them about our first Valentine's Day. You wanna do that real quick? And then was out of town on tour. He had about $10 in his bank account. And I thought like he was gonna do something for me because I grew up with very high expectations for men to like buy stuff for you. As right? you should. But Emin was broke, right? So I thought he would find some way to do something like give somebody a card to put in my house or like, I don't know, something fun. So all day long, my sisters are getting stuff from their boyfriends and I'm just waiting. I'm expecting something because it's our first Valentine's Day ever. And he didn't get me anything, anything at all, nothing. Right? He said happy Valentine's Day. And I, no. I and I think you said, I'm sorry, I can't get anything. Looking back, I shouldn't have gone mad because he had no money. But somehow it spiraled into this massive fight because I was like overblown and I was super mad and like thinking that this was like a sign that he was a horrible boyfriend. And then I was supposed to go surprise him in Philadelphia the next day on tour. So I was considering not even going because we were going to break up. Also, I now learned that I hate typical Valentine's Day gifts and they're very bad for the environment. And I hate balloons because you can't recycle them. And I hate chocolate boxes because you also can't recycle them. And chocolate's really bad for you and makes me tired and gives me a stomach ache. Okay. And I also like flowers. I would like some flowers, but they'd have to be in like paper packaging and like responsibly picked. So basically I'm too much of a nerd and a liberal to want a Valentine's Day gift anymore. So it's all good. But we almost broke up our first uh, year because we were not on the same bed at all. All right guys, we're gonna continue our dinner and hang out with each other. I'll be back later. Next Valentine's Day, Danny? Yeah. You're gonna wake up, I'm gonna be butt naked. Emin. Baby's breast flowers over my butt. Emin. Oh, I'll be, I'll be looking over like that. Guys, check out what it looks like outside. Look at him, he's so confused. Oh, did you make something? That's very cute. Did you get the date? Did you get the, did you see the date? 
you want to you take a selfie? Did you like the snow? I don't think you liked it at all. Your tail is down. I don't think you enjoyed that at all. I was actually just going to say, I think that's the perfect ending to a day. It starts freaking snowing outside and it's going to be snowing for a really long time. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're going to go to bed in like an hour. We got to work. We got to watch TV. We're going to brush Norman. But we had a really good day. So thanks for coming along with us. Anything to say? No. I mean, we'll see you in two days. Bye.